Kamaro, as you walked over here, you, you didn't seem like a guy who just successfully defended his title. It doesn't seem like you're as happy as maybe a champion would be right now. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, you know, I'm just, uh, of course, looking at my daughter, making sure she's good. It's, uh, what, 1 a.m., 2 a.m.? It's way past her bedtime. So, um, you know, I just got to make sure that she's great because that's uh, my first uh, concern. Always your number one priority, and rightfully so. I, I want to make sure we make this as quick as possible for you, but I've got to ask some questions about the fight. Your assessment of the second battle with Colby Covington, how did it compare to that first? Oh, it was great. You know, he went to a, a, a good camp, and I know these guys were going to do their homework and really prepare him well, and they definitely did. You know, he came to fight. He didn't get crazy because he knew that, um, you know, I was the one with the bazooka while he had a pistol. Um, so he, he stayed composed, and... And that's what you get when you got the two best guys in the division. We saw a lot more wrestling. What did you think of what he was able to bring in terms of the grappling department? Oh, yeah, he's a good wrestler. I knew that, you know, but he also knows that I was a great wrestler as well. And, um, you know, it was just a matter of he had to change it up because he knew that, you know, he couldn't fight in that position the whole time. Staying up with me would give me time to find that, uh, find that punch and, and put him away. In terms of the striking Camaro, you hurt him and it was obvious. Did you ever feel like you were in danger? We weren't sure if you were wobbled, if you were slipping. What was going on there? No, it, it's kind of weird when you're in that octagon. And for some reason, it's just slippery. You know, so uh, he landed a couple of good shots, but nothing really hurt me or anything like that. You know, of course, I wanted to get him out of position and potentially put him away. A couple of times, you know, he tried to rush in and, I, you know, he felt the heat. that Hey, there's still power there. So he, um, you know, he stayed composed. Where does this rank in terms of difficulties with fights? I mean, where does it rank in terms of hard-fought battles? This is up there. You know, he's definitely the next best guy in the division, you know, because uh, I hit him with some really, really good shots, and where I would have picked up momentum and potentially put him away, he was able to stay composed and, and hold me off. You guys were speaking really closely at the end of the fight, and at first we all thought, oh, no, maybe they're going to keep fighting. But what was going on there? Just, uh, you know, man-to-man, -man, mutual respect, I guess. Um, and I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, before I let you go, you've been very active as a champion. Would you like to return again to the Octagon soon? I would, you know, but I, I wouldn't say soon. You know, I've got a little girl over there that I, that's really sleepy right now that I need to, you know, focus on. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll go back to the drawing board. We'll talk to my manager, and uh, we'll see what's next. Excellent. Well, we can't wait for that. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.